In this video, we will talk about at point two, go to curve and tool is here. And the second tool is insert knob. These both are similar tools, so we will cover both tools in single video. First, I create a curve, so I go to top viewport, go to create curve tools and choose CV curve tool, or you can also choose EP curve tool. First, I create a curve. I start from here. Just click, 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 click like this. Press enter. So I start this curve from this point and end from this point. So it's a starting point and it's end point. But if someone send you a file with this curve. How you can identify which one is first point and which one is last point. So right click and choose control vertices. First I select this. It's a hollow point and in the last it's a solid point. When I select some bigger area, one point and second point. So this second point icon is U. If the starting point is hollow dot and second icon is U, it means it's a start point and it close with a solid dot. I choose object mode. You can also change the direction of this curve by using a curve tool that called reverse direction. Just click on this. Now the direction is swept. So let's check. Right click again and choose control vertices. Now this point is solid dot and this point is hollow dot with Q icon. So now direction is swept. So you can change curve direction like this. If you want to add more points in this curve, so first select this curve and then go to curve menu and choose add point tool. So add point tool always work on the end point like this. So you can add point in the existing curve by using add point tool but it's always work with the end point. If you want to add here so make sure this point is end point but in this case, this point is starting point. So first you have to reverse direction, choose object mode and then go to curve and reverse direction. Now direction is swept. So you can add point tool. Now this tool will add. Now this tool add point in this curve. Second tool is insert knot. It's also add point on the curve, but it work in a different way. If you want to add some different type of curvature in this area, so you have to add some point. First select this curve and go to edit point. These all are added point of this curve. In this area only one point. But if you want to modify this area, so you have to add more point. So right click again and choose curve point. We already discussed about this tool. But in this lecture, we do something more. First click a point. If you want to add more point, press shift and add more points like this now go to curve insert now so by using shift key you can add more points in single time so it's a trick now right click again and choose edit point to edit these points if you select the edit point and move so curve behave like this undo once first deselect this curve 
and choose control vertices choose these vertices and move that shape you want to add like this okay. so these two tools that add some more geometry in a adjusting curve so by using these tools you can also modify your curve